Well, it is a beautiful morning. Wow, look at that. 40 degrees, but the ground temp, that's what I care about. We need to get in the field. Let's look at the weather here quickly. Oh, beautiful. It's going to get up to 58 today. Hmm, and no rain until tomorrow. Oh, that means we got to get a lot of tillage done before tomorrow. Whoo, it's raining a lot here. So the ground's dry enough to start tillage, so we need to get to it. Hey, what's up? Oh, not much. I, uh, I was just, I went down to your place to see what you had there, uh, earlier and um i saw you had some mac anthems there and they looked pretty nice i uh i was wanting to come down and m maybe look at them more in depth if you're if you're around oh yeah i just got under contract so mac semis they uh gave me a few of their brand new anthems so i would be oh that's awesome sweet uh, seal that deal yeah. if i can sell one right away <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you're uh, if if you're there now, if you're available, I'll head right over. Yeah, I'll just uh, run down there quick. See you then. Alrighty, I'll be right over. All right, later. See you. So we're gonna head down here. So it sounds like Jake's on the way. That's nice because we need to seal the deal on our contract with Mac. I don't think they'll just allow us to have these trucks here forever. So if we sell a few, we can get some more, and then we can get some more money. Let's see if we can get this deal made. Oh, looks like Jake's walking up right now. Hey, Jake, what's up? Uh, not much. Just uh, came out to look at that anthem like we talked about on the phone. Yep, I got two of them. Brand spanking new. They just got a few miles. So Austin actually borrowed the white one the other day, put a few miles on it. Uh, that's my oh. favorite just because uh, black... Uh, air deflector on it i just think it it looks real good <laughs> yeah that thing pops so they both have cattle guards on it uh they both have mm -hmm. the 505 the mp8 bigger engine so it has 505 right. horsepower on each so oh perfect yeah these are um i'm, I'm looking for another one for the co-op because i have one truck right now that kenworth and i uh I keep having to swap it between the the hopper and the sprayer unit and the hopper, so I'm I'm tired of that. I just want to put a truck on a trailer and practically leave it on it. You know what I mean? Oh, I I know these things will look beautiful on that thing. So have no problem pulling them. Uh, it's your choice which one you want. So you can get the the matte black or the old white one. They're your price the exact same. So I'm asking 180 for each of them. So okay. 180 for each, and they both got the same engine. Uh, yep. What's, are they, I suppose they're the Max new, uh, new, what is it called? Uh, oh, the automatic, what do they call it, like M drive or something? I can't remember what they call it. Yep. So they, I think it's M drive. I'm not 100%, so I just got these the other day. So I just went under contract with Mac trucks here. So gotcha. the only big difference between the two, so this has the more old style, uh, metal steps here and this has the plastic yeah. air deflector type steps so that's the biggest yeah, issue yeah. but other than that they are almost identical other than color and chrome in the front all right cool let's uh let's see these don't happen to, to have that uh that fancy new uh fifth wheel release in the cab do they oh yeah so they all have the release so all easy uh they all have quick connect for the trailer hookups but you have to get out of the cab for that obviously but right. uh, <laughs> other than that uh i don't really know what to say about them the, they do have the more uh off-road tires each of them do so they can take the mm -hmm. country roads a little bit easier around here so that's perfect because you know pulling into people's fields and stuff sometimes you know, I can't always just stay on the road. Sometimes they need me to pull into their fields, and sometimes it's a little muddy. <laughs> yeah, so not the best, I mean, but they'll get you at least better than them uh, 
let's say highway tires will right right and i assume the fifth wheel is uh position adjustable then it looks like it is yep so it's on a slider here each of them are position adjustable uh they both have uh 48 inch sleepers on them so i don't know if you really want a sleeper but in case you go for a long haul you'll have somewhere to take a nap yeah you know what i guess it wouldn't really be that bad of a deal because sometimes i'm sitting waiting on on uh on them to load me up you know when i'm running grain for a while and it'd be nice to just lay down yeah (laughs) that's not a bad deal do you know what's uh do you do you know roughly what the fuel capacity is on these like the how much how big these tanks are so they're each, uh, I believe they're each tank with, I'm, correct me, I might be wrong, but uh, each tank should hold 50 gallons. So it does have a depth tank right here. So this one's kind of covered okay. up. So there's your depth tank. So that is a 20 gallon, I believe, depth tank. So okay. Okay. if you want to call it depth or government juice or whatever you call it. <laughs> right. <laughs> So should uh, at least be a fairly long haul. So I could hook you up with some bigger tanks if you need them. But okay, um, that looks looks pretty good. Uh, oh, it's got the the long lug nuts on there. Yep. So That's nice. I I forgot another another key difference between the two. So this has the blind spot mirrors in it. So on the hood oh, here. Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> yeah, so those are nice to have those nose mirrors. Um, is, is, are, is the door open? Mind if I yep, you, check the, the inside keys are in there? there. Okay, I'm kind of liking this white one here, so I think I might check it out a bit. Okay. Oh wow, real! It still smells new. Oh yeah, so I don't know. Austin might have farted in it or something, but <laughs> other than that, it should smell Probably. new. Maybe you got some fast food in it. You never know. Yep. <laughs> Had a turkey burger or something. Awesome. You mind if I start it up? Yep. You can start it up. You can take a spin if you need. Oh, all right. Nice. Yeah, if you don't mind, uh, just kind of take it down this road and back. Would that be all right? Yep. Feel free. All right. I'll be right back. Right. You need my my like my license or anything? I know some people like to do that, so they make sure I come back. Or... I know you've had a few accidents in the past. As long as you don't run it up on a drift, <laughs> or let the trailer well, release, you're all right. You know what? Those the accidents is, is the right word to put there. Unintentional issues. I would. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Just don't have any, anything unintentional happen. I'll. I won't. I won't. We're, 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 we'll be all right. Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like Jake made it back without wrecking. That's always good. Well, you didn't park it in the shed, so that must mean you're sold. <laughs> I'm sold. I'm sold. How much is it? 180. Oh, 180. That's that's not bad. Mm-hmm. It's not bad at all. You see the. The, how bright these uh, headlights are man are they yeah freaking... yeah they're the led then aren't they yep. they look like they were yeah they're the yeah, high they beam really led so don't look directly into them you are gonna probably <laughs> uh piss off a few uh oncoming drivers let's, let's just say that oh mm. for sure for sure will <laughs> i uh i'm sold i think 180 is a great price for it really nice clean truck Okay. Let's do it. Let's sign some paperwork. All right, let's go on here and sign some paperwork. All right, sir. You're the proud owner of a new white truck. All right. Let me just hand over that check to you here. All right. Just uh, watch out for them drifts, okay? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, them snow drifts will get you. All right, there you go. All right. Thanks, Jake. Good doing business I with you. I appreciate it, man. Um, By the way, later on, I don't have the money for it right now, but co-op's co-op is uh gonna have to wait a little bit we're gonna have to sell some grain before we buy anything new but um might end up coming down here and taking a look at that wilson grain trailer later on as well so oh that's nice just just to let you know we're probably gonna be coming down here to look at that too at some point uh i was also wondering i would thinking about possibly 
purchasing some soybeans from the co-op. Is that possible? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You can buy some soybeans from us. What are you selling them for right now? Uh, let me check my spreadsheet real quick to see um, what uh, to see what we bought them at. Okay. Here. It'll give me just one second. I got it on my phone, so it don't it won't take me too long to bring it up. Uh, let's see. I think account records is that where the boss set this up at? Looks like well, not too bad. Okay. So, um, we should be able to sell at, uh, how many, how many bushels are you looking at buying here? So I can just give you a grand total. Uh, I can't, well, I think I'm just going to get about 500 to start with. Okay. Just don't have any for my pigs, so I kind of need some. Okay, so 500 bushels, we'll sell that to you at 23, which would be 11.5. Okay. Ah, uh, sounds like a... I'm sold. I'll come get that uh, probably right now, so I'll just go over there and go yeah. get it, because my pigs are hungry. That actually will work out great. I'll take the truck up there. You can uh, come up, get your load of what you need, and if you happen to have a buddy seat and whatever you're driving, I might hop a ride with you back down here to get my pickup. Oh, That's all right. Sweet. Sounds good. All right. Well, I'll see you up there. All right. Later, Jake. See ya. All right. There goes Jake pulling off now. So we're actually going to go pick up some soybeans here quickly. You know what I really like about this truck? It's automatic. That's what I like about it. So, I'm not one of them big, like, I need a uh, two-shifter in my truck, but they are kind of cool, but I'm not too big on them. So we're going to hook up to our Wilson here. Man, I'm just noticing how great of a pair these two make. That thing, this trailer and on this truck almost looks perfect. It's a perfect match. Maybe I will buy this from the Mack truck for farm use because I am really liking this all, this setup here. Still just loving this truck. I'm sure glad that Jake ended up buying the white one. I really kind of like that one because of the white and black, but kind of liking this uh, matte black on this uh, chrome Wilson trailer. kind of makes it pop I think. Alright, so we're pulling over here to the co-op. Somebody called and told me the other day that I go the wrong direction into the co-op. Now I can't remember what direction that was. So they'll probably call and tell me I went the wrong way again. Oh well. Jake, where do I need to go to pick up some soybeans? Alright, so we just did some uh, rerouting of, of crop and everything so we have a new bin set up in the back for our overflow storage okay so you're gonna go around behind the the long barn back there you see that okay you're gonna go to the right of that and you're gonna be able to go right around to those other bin setups that's where we're gonna have the soybeans for you you say you want 500 bushels right yep okay that's gonna work out great because i don't think we have too much more than that <laughs> okay sweet all right i'll head over right. there and then i'll come by and uh settle up with you Alrighty. Alright. Alright, so he said to the right of this. So, okay. This this must be new. This looks new anyways. I don't know if they had this really big building here the other day. I don't think so. Maybe they did. So, that looks like the unloading. Do I need to go over here? Yep. Here we go. All right. Right under there. All right, Jake. Fill her up. All righty. Let me uh, start the auger here. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh 
Okay, so either I'm wrong and we haven't moved those into the overflow yet, or my soybean bin's auger system isn't working. We just had these built. Oh, yeah? So we haven't really yeah, this we haven't tested them, over to here. be honest. Shoot. Uh, okay, let me, let me check my spreadsheets to see where we've got stuff stored. I could be wrong. We might not have gotten these moved over yet. Okay. Give me a second here. Okay, that, that's my fault. I I think they might we might have some in the front bins here. All right, um, no problem. I'll no, I'll head over I mean, there. I, I got on my paper. I got on my paper here that we did move soybeans over here, but I apparently it's not working here. But we it says we have some in the front as well. So just pull around to that one. We'll get you loaded up from there. All right, sounds good. All righty. So it sounds like. They uh, they have it in the wrong bin, which no issue. We could just uh, doesn't take us much longer. Ooh, this corner might be kind of hard to make. Let's see if we can make this over here. So I kind of don't like this little ramp of this bin. That's for sure. All right, good to start filling. Yep, yep. I'll uh, I'll start the auger here. Oh, there we there go. There we go. Yep. Yeah, I must have. I don't know. Maybe I just did it wrong. I uh, I I could have swore I trucked some soybeans over to the other one the other day, but maybe I didn't. Wow, that uh, maybe hopper maybe. tank doesn't take no time at all to fill up. No, it's pretty fast flow, isn't it? Yep. All right. Uh, let me get um, you. Do we do it here, or do I need to go away first? Uh, so what what we're gonna do? We're just gonna run it from the bushel. So I'll run down here. I'll print you off a uh, a ticket, and then you'll pay me whenever you uh. We can hold that in your account, or you can pay me now. All right. Uh, what was it? What was the number again? That's gonna be eleven thousand five hundred dollars. Okay, I'll do that. All right. Appreciate the business. You ever need anything? Just let us know. All right. Thanks, Jake. Yep, have a good one. Let me know if you have any problems with that Mac. I doubt you will, though. Oh, I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, I'm actually just, I don't need a ride with you because I want to get that Mac all, all set up and good to go. I'll just take this old Ford. Okay. And um, I'll, have my, I'll have my wife stop by and, and pick up my, my truck from your place. All right, sounds good. All righty. Have a good one. Later, Jake. See ya. All right, so now we got some soybeans. So now we got... Uh, full, we can make a full meal for our pigs, so we were missing soybeans there. So we'll go dump these over in their trough, or their automatic feeder. And then we need to get to tillage, because we are behind. Alright, so we're going to take this around over here. So we planted all these trees around here. Just liven this place up a little bit, so I didn't really like the way it looked before when I bought it, so I just wanted to clean it up nicely. We'll dump this into our little uh, wet bin here, silos. Alright, that's done, so let's go park this here quickly. Then we'll go feed the pigs. And then, we need to get in the tractor. Hello? Hey, Jake, I forgot to ask this when I was over there. Okay. Uh, I would like some fertilizer spread on my big field, my south field. All right, you want uh, solid pellet or, or liquid? Solid pellet, nitrogen. All right, yeah, we can get some nitrogen spread for you. Um, when, you when do you want that done? Uh, can you do it in the next couple days? Easily, yeah. Yep. We're, um, we're actually getting that, that whole deal prepped right now. That's actually what the truck's on. <laughs> oh. Is on the trailer for that. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, we can put you on the, on the route list here. So we'll get that done, um, most likely it, at the earliest end of day today. At the latest, it'll be done tomorrow. Okay. Uh, what is it running this year? Uh, so it's going to be whatever the input costs are, and then plus 1500 
Okay. So fifteen hundred is the service fee, and then the input costs of it. Your input costs are going to be uh, cheaper than usual because we have a surplus of nitrogen right now, actually, that we are trying to get rid of. So we're going to give you a discount on that. So it shouldn't be too bad. Um, I don't know what it's going to cost. I don't know what. How much? Do you have a variable rate that you like to be spread, or would you like us to just figure that? Uh, we'll, we'll, we can do some tests on your soil to figure out how much we need. Uh, I need to do some tests here quickly, but last year I needed 30 pounds per acre, so I would imagine okay. somewhere around there. Okay. Um, I'll uh, I'll run that by my spray guy. He knows a little bit more about it than I do, and when he uh when he's got a number for me of what he's gonna roughly estimate uh, for that to be, I'll uh, I'll let you know. But yeah, it's just 1,500 plus the input costs. All right. Sweet. Alrighty, we got you on the ticket, and we'll get that taken care of. All right, thanks, Jake. Yep, have a good one. Bye. So, you heard him. Oh, man, I didn't turn off the headlights there. Got to do that. There we go. So, we got kind of late in today, so I still wanted to at least till one field. So, I think we'll head up there quickly and start doing that. But, need to... So we got our uh, pigs fed, we got, uh, got our pigs fed, we got uh, extra feed for them so we can give them uh, full rations now, so, and also we sold a semi, so busy day today, which is a good day in my book, so, got some money in the pocket. Uh, I think I'm going to contact uh, Mac and see if they want to replace one truck or something maybe we can ask for another two trucks so get a little bit more uh, variety for people coming to our door so I want to use our new tractor our uh, magnum here so I'm gonna get this started and I'm gonna start tilling this field right out in front of us here all right see this is working so now I have to mess with the ag leader so uh, I haven't used this ag leader in my field yet, so I might have to do an exterior boundary so it knows the field. Alright, so I, I think it looks like I'm going to have to do an exterior boundary for this field, and then I'll be able to have auto steer. I guess we can go right out over here quickly. So there's not too much in this field here. We'll start unfolding this. Hold that disc nicely. So I like how slow it goes. So we idle the tractor down. So I'm gonna lower it and just make sure we don't miss anything. Thing looks good so far. All right, let's start pulling this thing now. All right, so this disc, we're pulling it at about nine mile an hour, so this tractor is sure a good tillage tractor. Working pretty nicely so far. First, I was a little bit worried about how that disc was performing, but we didn't have the wings down far enough. There we go. Just gonna go a little bit closer here. I just want to get a little bit more field started over here. Alright, so it's not gonna take us too much time, but we kind of burned a lot of time with selling the truck, going to get grain and everything, so we've got to get this all taken care of so like I said before we're gonna be disking up a lot of our grass fields just to make fields we need that extra grain because we don't have the money to buy uh, 
grain for our pigs to uh, eat, so I just think it's smarter, being we are big pig farmers and we want to grow as pig farmers, to uh, just be a full crop farmer. So I'm going to disc up my uh, three grass fields I have, two by the house, and then I do have another one over there I plan on disking up too, so I actually have four. So scratch that four grass fields I have. I'm really happy with this disc. It's really uh, tilling this in. I might have to do this a few more times, but I think I'm going to disc up these and then have uh, Jake come and uh, put fertilize disc again, and then I should be good. Go on here, so I don't know if this is a disc problem or if this is a magnet problem, but having issues with my uh, disc, one of my wings folding up, and I look back there, and, and I look back there again in like 30 seconds, and it's sitting there folded up, not discing. One wing ain't down discing, so don't know if that's the hydraulics here in this magnum or what that is kind of weird never had that experience before sure am glad to get back into the field I have been missing to get back in this field so that winter seemed like it took forever and wanting to get crops in the field uh, possibly rush and get our stuff done so we can help other people Should be nice don't know I think now that I'm in this tractor cab I'm thinking uh, I think I may at least leave one grass one of my grass fields planted just so I get some bales off of it possibly try to sell them so beans I have a uh, bale and equipment anyways so might just as well keep it all right just getting this outside row again, just trying to get as much as this is possible, so my brake, my disc was skipping a little bit there. There we go. So I think that's about good. We'll call that good for today. Fold this old disc up. I think I'll just go ahead and park this in the shed. Go throw that 4960 in the shed too here quickly. Should be good to go. Alright, just park that in here in our new shed here. But thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.